We have seen franchise after franchise be revived just to see them be ruined. Companies will do anything to make money. And if they've got to bait people with nostalgia to see their new movies or subscribe to their terrible services, they will because they only care about their bottom line, not what we as fans really want. Now, I made a video a few weeks ago calling out Kevin Smith's first big lie around Revelations, which was that none of the character designs were going to be changed. They were going to stay completely authentic to the show Revelations is based on, and yet that wasn't true. They're changing Tila's design and even race swapping a character, which caused a lot of people to instantly assume that this show was going to be a flop. It was going to be woke. It wasn't going to be worth watching. And now we are seeing more big fat lies being called out that Kevin Smith has said and uh, claims that he has made. But it has gotten so much worse just over the past couple days than it has been in weeks and even months because old tweets and even videos have been unearthed where he admits that he was never a fan of He-Man until, of course, he got his own chance to make a show out of the franchise. I'm going to be reading a Cosmic Book News article. He-Man fraud exposed. Kevin Smith caught in a lie. Not a fan in the show will be all about Tila. So it says Kevin Smith is apparently a big fraud when it comes to He-Man and has been caught in a big fat lie as a tweet unearthed from 2013 reveals Smith stating he is not a fan of He-Man. You would think for someone like this that they would go back and reconsider words that they've said in the past, tweets they've made in the past, interviews they've done on shows, where they've said, literally, I'm not a big fan of this franchise I'm suddenly doing a show for. You think that he would wipe his Twitter, delete old posts regarding the topic so he can basically start fresh, but no, no, he's not doing that. He didn't do that because this tweet was still up. People were calling him out for this for days until he finally decided to kind of address it. It says, in addition, it appears that if either Kevin Smith, Netflix, or both have been lying to fans about the plot's show, I wasn't a He-Man fan, the tweet states, which is the direct opposite of how the Netflix show has been promoted in the media and what Smith has said himself. Kevin Smith has literally said in the past, I am a huge He-Man fan. I love He-Man. I've been a lifelong fan. I have been someone who has cared about this franchise for basically my whole life now. I'm kind of a super fan. He literally said this. Everything I've ever worked on in like 27 years, this is easily in the top five of my favorite, most satisfying projects, says Smith, a He-Man super fan who show runs Revelation and executive produces with Mattel Television's Frederick Soleil. And then, of course, it says a bunch of other names like Rob David, Christopher Keenan. When I die, they'll be like, he made clerks, remember? Because that's the most memorable thing I think I've ever done. I think this has a running shot at being like, he made clerks in that one cartoon that one time. He has literally been called a super fan by news outlets, even by himself. He pretended to cry when he was talking about He-Man a couple of months ago. Yet now it's coming out, literal tweets of him admitting... Well, I'm not really a fan of He-Man, or I was never a big fan of He-Man. It says, I wasn't a He-Man fan, but Gallery 1988 is running an awesome Masters of the Universe art show. I think that it is absolutely hilarious to see this happening because we don't have to prove that he's not a He-Man fan by looking to see if he knows specific lore about the show and about the franchise. No, no, he literally admits twice that he's not a fan of He-Man because this is a video from Comic Book Men where he said, I have no love for He-Man either in response to what someone else said about He-Man. He has literally admitted multiple times that he has no love for He-Man. Man, that he is not a fan of He-Man. This is pathetic. He's saying he has no love for the franchise. Then let someone who does care create it. I hate these suck-ups and their lies. They get called out every single time. They're so afraid that people will boycott their products because they don't know specific lore, they haven't been lifelong fans, that they lie. They say, oh, I'm a super fan. I've loved it for so long. And so they keep just lying and lying and lying. You're a 
eventually going to get called out about it. If he had legitimately said, I used to not be a fan of He-Man growing up, but after I became an adult and really looked into this show, I thought it was cool as hell. Now I'm a fan. That would be much more respectable. You don't have to pretend to be a super fan. Just act like you're actually a fan. You don't have to say, I know every single little piece of lore and information that there is surrounding this franchise. You could have just said, hey, I haven't been a lifelong fan, but I'm a fan now, and that's what matters. I'm putting in the time, putting in the effort to learn this franchise. No, no. Instead, he just pretends to cry when he hears news about the show, and he says, oh my gosh, I'm this big, lifelong super fan. So the next section says Netflix synopsis opposite of what Kevin Smith claims. Ah, yes, yet another lie. And I think between Netflix and Kevin Smith, we know who here is lying to us. It says, recall that following the announcement, a rumor offered that Tila would take over He-Man hero duties, which Smith refuted in a tweet. He said, as showrunner, I really could have used these story suggestions before we locked scripts. However, no, He-Man does no stepping aside side and Tila has no girlfriend in our show. The storyline is pretty dark and way metal. Before Revelation, we were calling it End of the Universe. However, along with the new trailer, Netflix has released a new plot description which states the exact opposite of Smith's claims. It's either one or another here and I'm going to go off on a limb and say Netflix actually knows what the show is about because Netflix is the one putting out the official description for the show and Kevin Smith is probably the liar here. This is like the fourth or fifth lie that he is being called out on. It says the war for Eternia culminates in Masters of the Universe Revelation, an innovative and action-packed animated series that picks up where the iconic characters left off decades ago. I'm gonna be honest, I thought that this new trailer looked really freaking cool. If I wasn't following it, news and information surrounding the show online, if I wasn't looking at websites and hearing about all of Kevin Smith's lies, I'd be hyped as hell for this because that trailer was a banger, but unfortunately, I do look at the internet every day and I do know um all of this information so now I'm definitely not as hyped as I could have been that's for sure it says after a battle between He-Man and Skeletor Eternia is fractured and the guardians of Grayskull are scattered and after decades of secrets tore them apart it's up to Tila to reunite the broken band of heroes and solve the mystery of the missing sword of power in a race against time to restore Eternia and prevent the end of the universe. It's unfortunate, but now we know that this is a giant bait-and-switch trailer. You would think that it would be about He-Man. Even Kevin Smith tried to tell us He-Man does no stepping aside for Tila, yet the description of the show literally says it's up to Tila to do the hard work and reunite the Guardians of Grayskull, meaning the show is going to lean heavily on her and her perspective. And I like Tila, don't get me wrong, she is strong, sexy, and fierce, but now they've propped her up on a pedestal made her, from what it sounds like, the lead of this show. They've gotten rid of her original armor and have made her look pretty damn terrible. Smith tries to say, oh, well, Tila's always been a big part of He-Man, and that's true. That is definitely not a lie. But again, she wasn't the main character. Like Orko, he was in tons of episodes, yet he wasn't the main character. So many people are disappointed here because the trailer was so freaking good. It looked like, oh my gosh, this might actually turn out to be half decent, but unfortunately, it just doesn't sound like that's going to be the case. It is so terrible the way that these people decide to act, and Kevin Smith not only went on Twitter to try to defend his position, he tries to deflect the situation and attack fans. Of course, like all of these people do time and time again. So it says Smith responded on Twitter, but the showrunner behind the series deflects and attempts to blame the fans and accuses them of calling it woke because the show empowers women. He said if by woke folks mean the female characters have agency, then Revelation is exactly as woke as the cartoon, to which our series is a spiritual sequel. Because Tila and Evelyn in every episode uh, were fighting alongside He-Man and Skeletor, and Sorceress is more powerful than all of them. Ah, yes, thank you so much for pointing that out to us, Kevin Smith, the fake He-Man fan. And of course, if we scroll down, 
he decided to respond to Matt Jarbo saying, do you have a response to the Tila controversy? And Kevin Smith said, we can't release a synopsis for part two without spoiling part one. So any synopsis out there would only be for part one. But our sprawling storyline is so full of twists and turns, I've yet to read an online theory about Revelation that's ever come close to guessing the actual plot. So he is basically saying, well, yeah, you might see a synopsis from Netflix online, but it's it's not the full story. You're not getting all of the details, which might be true, but with all of the lies that he's told, I highly, highly doubt it. It is disgusting that people like him go on social media and instead try to um, tell people, hey, it's okay that you're worried, but you're just misunderstanding the situation. Wait until you see the full show before judging it. No, no. He decides to go and attack people who are worried that it's going to be woke, attacking the fans who are actually going to watch this show. It is absolutely Absolutely ridiculous and people like him deserve no respect. Now, it says the synopsis also confirms the previous big spoiler reveal and what it means for the show in that something happens to He-Man and Tila will take over, most likely in part two of the series. Yeah, um, that basically confirms that there is going to be He-Man in the show. It's not like he's not in it at all, but Tila is going to take over at some point. We don't know when, we don't know for how long, but she is going to. And it says, unlike Smith, I happen to be a big He-Man fan and even had a letter printed in the official he-Man magazine back when I was nine years old. We don't know if this show is going to be a total disaster. The trailer looks good, but clearly the trailer and Netflix's official description for this are two very different things. I want it to be an amazing show. I do not want to see another company ruin a franchise so many of us love, but I just don't think that we're going to see a genuinely good continuation of He-Man's story here. But let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below below. If you enjoyed this video and found it important and informative, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.